Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. I'm going to present this case of a patient who's receiving a a cornea transplant because they have had scarring from prior radial keratotomy surgery. We anesthetized the eye with lidocaine in the peribulbar space and then apply a flaringa ring, which is stabilized with silk sutures. patient's completely numb, lidocaine eye drops have been applied to the surface. We then place an 8.5 millimeter mark on the cornea to identify where we're going to remove the scar tissue. Then we prepare an 8.5 millimeter donor. Here a tree fine is used to create the 8.5 millimeter bed that will be removed. This area will allow us to remove all the abnormal cornea. We double check to make sure that we have an even trepanation. 1% non-preserved lidocaine is then placed directly inside the eye to augment the anesthetic effect. We place viscoelastic into the eye to stabilize the eye and then we proceed to remove the host scarred cornea with corneal scissors. of the prior trephination, it's a very even and symmetric bed that we create and then we apply the 8.5 millimeter donor and secure it using 10 nylon sutures. We place about 16 of these sutures to secure the donor to the host. Once all sutures have been placed, we burp the incisions to remove the viscoelastic and then bury and rotate the knots so they're not felt by the patient. The patient's very comfortable at the conclusion of the procedure and their vision will gradually improve over the next year when we'll remove these sutures. Thank you for your time and attention. Have a wonderful day.